All right, so in this last video, we're gonna talk about some more advanced options for Beamer. So you can probably see this does not look uh, anything like the Beamer presentation uh, we just put up, we just made last, last time. So the original one looks like this. Okay, very basic. Okay, but you can use themes in Beamer, and these themes are created by other people, okay, like many of the packages and uh, more advanced features. And so you just Google the themes, and here's a gallery, okay? And these are all examples of the themes that you could use, okay? So the one we have here is Berlin, and they each have unique uh, uh, features. If you get more involved, you can learn how to create your own theme and include the features that you like from different ones. But in the meantime, there's so many to choose from. So one thing I like about, about this one, you know, is, okay, so here's where the author goes, here's where the name of the presentation goes, the title goes. But then when you create sections, so I have an introduction, a body, and conclusion, as you go through your presentation, this is the first subsection. And here, so you see here, I created introduction, subsection, intro one is the name of the subsection. So it tells you not only how many slides, so let's, you know, for example, if I add another frame here, all right, these are just a bunch of blank slides, but if I add another frame here, it should, ah, okay, sorry, this tells you how many subsections there are. There are some that tell you how many slides there are and which slide you're on, okay? So for this one, it, it just says we're in subsection one, there are two total subsections in the introduction, and as I go through, we move from, you know, now you're in the body, in subsection one of the body, subsection two of the body, now you're in the conclusion, subsection one, subsection two. Okay, so I think that's cool. Uh, there are other ones like, uh, let's see, just uh, pick, pick the first one, Ann Arbor. Okay, this one is ugly yellow color, yellow and blue, but uh, that's the colors of Michigan, where Ann Arbor is. Okay, so now you see the difference here is it tells you introduction and the subsection here. Okay, here's the author, here's the name of the presentation, the date, number of slides, okay, and you see how you go. These are blank slides, but if they were full, you know, I mean, it's a it's, it's nice way for to help people uh, follow your presentation. Anyway, it's worth checking these out. I think we can do one more. Okay, let's try this one. And this again is going to give you some different uh, customization. So here's the name, here's the, the author, and now you go through the list like this, which is kind of cool. Okay, so let's go, let's just go back to, I think we were using Berlin. Okay, so back to, okay, so here we have our slide. So uh, more important than probably how the slides look is uh, how they function, right? So what if I want this to show up, then this, then this, then this, as you would have in slides. Well, it's very easy, you just, so this is the first bullet point right here. So if I wanna pause in the slides, what I do is I put backslash pause, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna essentially create two slides now. Okay, so this is the first item and then the second slide, right, which is everything else, okay? So if I put a pause at the end of each of these, okay, what we're going to get is five slides, okay, and, okay, so we can walk through each of the bullet points one at a time, make sure everybody who is listening to the presentation is following. Now, it gets better than this. So, uh, all right, first let's do, uh, there, there's other environments, you know, the theorem environments, all these things work here, but there's uh, these block environments, which are uh, interesting. Uh, I mean, simple to use from the beginning. Uh, begin block, and block. So if you want to sort of highlight things that you're talking about, so name of the block goes here and text of the block goes here. Uh, the blocks work better, uh, you know, the, how the blocks look depend on the package, depends on the package that you use, okay? So sometimes there's 3D, sometimes the coloring is different. Uh, it really, it depends on the theme that you're using, I mean, okay? So we can, you know, the same thing with the, with the, the items, 
we can put a pause after uh, an equation, a, uh, a table, a figure, whatever, anything like that. Okay, so now we have, okay. Uh, so uh, we can we can do even we can go even further than this because sometimes you want to show a slide but you, you don't want it uh, to show up afterwards. So by putting this here, this is going to say show this slide. Right, we just created six slides here. This is saying show this only on the first of the six. Okay, so here's the first one and now it disappears. Okay, when we go to the second one, second one shows up, the first one's gone, but the rest of them are there because we didn't specify when to come, when to go. They just come after the pulse. Okay, so for example, we can do the same thing for the second slide. Okay, and let's wait till it's finished. Okay, and then there you go. The first one disappears, the second one disappears, and now you have the third. Okay, uh, if you want to be specific, you can say, so what, what the dash means is that this should show up from the third slide on. Okay, so, okay. And, uh, right, so we can do something like this, and then this one shows up uh, on the, from the fourth slide on, and then this one shows up only on, uh, so this should show up the fifth. You have to be careful with the numbers. You have to make sure you know, depending on the number of pauses that you have, uh, you should be aware of how many slides there are, because if you put uh, too few, right, let's say we're on the fourth slide before we even get here, if you put only show up on the fourth slide, it won't show up. Okay, so, so here you go, this customization. Second item, this one stays for the rest of the, this one stays. Okay, for, and for example, we can make this uh, three to four. So it should, it's gonna show up only on between the third and the fourth uh, slides. Okay, right, so. All right, second item, here's the other item. Here's the fourth slide. Now on the fifth slide, this one disappears, okay? And all right, so uh, there's plenty more features, you know, and like I've always said, you know, when in doubt, just search on Google. You'll find plenty of examples. The more uh, you do yourself, the, the more examples you'll have to draw from, you know. Then it's just like copy and paste. You know, you say, yeah, I made a table uh, last time, and so I can just take that table and customize it for this paper or this presentation, and, uh, you know, it gets much easier as time goes on. So thanks for watching.